I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackYear.com and today we're going to do a product review on the all new AGV Corsa full face motorcycle helmet. The first thing that I want to address is I realize that buying a motorcycle helmet online or over the phone can be a challenge because it's really important that they fit right. What we've done to ease that challenge is removed restocking fees. All we need you to do is follow a couple simple rules. Rule one, don't ride in the helmet. Rule two, leave the screen on the shield keep the tags, all the stuff that comes with it, and the original packaging. When you get the helmet, unbox it and put it on, right? Just lift the shield up, put it on, watch some television, sit at your keyboard, surf our website, make sure you're happy with the fit. Don't ride in it until you know you're happy. If you have any issues with the fit, contact one of our associates. We'll talk you through it, and if necessary, issue an RMA, get it turned around, and get it exchanged for you with no restocking fees, just a couple simple rules. Now let's get on to the good stuff. The Corsa helmet, this is essentially the same helmet as the Piece to GP. The good news is this one starts at $749.95 as compared to the $1399 from the Pista. I wanna talk about head shape and sizing just a little bit. I found the head shape to be intermediate oval. It, that's what I am. Most helmets fit me fine. This helmet fit me great. I measure 58 centimeters. I actually went with the medium small and it fit awesome. Very snug, nice race fit. My one comment would be, if you know you're really long in the face, long in the chin, this might not be the best helmet for you because I don't have that issue, but I was, I was pretty close. Not enough where it would be an issue for me and I wouldn't ride in the helmet, but it was closer than I am with a lot of other helmets out there. So just bear that one thing in mind. This is available in multiple sizes with four shells. Extra small, small, medium small, medium large. They split the medium, which is the most common size, and two to really refine the fit. I tried on a medium large that was just a little more spacious than the medium small. Okay, but for my taste, I want to go to the tighter side, as tight as I can, and the medium small was the one that worked out. We'll finish it up with large, extra large, and then 2X. This helmet is designed for racing, track day riding, aggressive sport bike style street riding, right? Tons of airflow, tons of aerodynamics. Remember, designed with Valentino Rossi, MotoGP, speeds over 200 miles an hour. You look at the aggressive shape of this helmet up here in the chin area where the shield intersects. And then as we get to the back, right, with that spoiler, class leading aerodynamics. Huge field of vision with this all new shield. It has a centrally located lock system depressed there. There are no real detents up or down. There's some tension, but no real detents, okay? As you push it down, what I found is that you go the first click, that is basically going to be the crack position for the shield. You just lock it, just the first click, that's the crack position if you need to ventilate it a little bit more. Push it down the rest of the way, it locks it in the downward position. Ventilation for this helmet, extreme ventilation produces a little noise. Any helmet that really flows a good amount of air is going to make some noise, so be ready for that. Was it excessive? Not in my mind, because the airflow was phenomenal. Intake here in the center, switched on or off. The two on the outer edges, also switched on and off. It separates itself from the piece to GP, because remember the piece to GP has removable plugs. This switches on or off, so it's definitely more user friendly. Ventilation here in the chin bar is switched on or off with a really cool hidden switch behind the chin bar that is covered by this chin curtain, which is of course removable. Removable, washable, replaceable interior, high-end fabric. This helmet actually offers some foam pieces where you're able to tune the fit in the cheek pads as well as the back of the top pad. We're gonna cover that in the second part of this review, right? So if you really like what you see, stay tuned, stick with us, because we're gonna disassemble this thing, give you a real high-level look from the inside out of this helmet. It's a very technical piece. Continuing on, okay, features, benefits, we've covered that. Who it's right for, the weight, 3.3 pounds in a size medium-small on our digital shipping scale. 
The shell is their SSL shell technology. It's kind of a carbon and fiberglass blend, very lightweight. This is a tenth of a pound heavier than the piece to GP. Another difference, but man, that's really slight. And remember, the price is almost half. Brand new shield and shield mechanism. We showed you the release. To remove the shield, depress this spring-loaded tab here and pull out. Come to the other side, repeat the process, push down, pull out. It's about as easy as it's going to be. There are metal pieces in here, right? Spring-loaded quality. I noted the shield was rather thick, right? It's going to be a higher level of safety. It's pin lock ready. It comes with a pin lock insert. It also comes with tear-offs. Put the shield to the side. Give you a look at that huge eye port. Removable breath deflector. Interior. Let's go ahead and show you how to remove that right now. Grab the back portion of the chin curtain and release it like so. Start at the back, work to the front, and then pull back. High-end fabric, easy to remove. It's held in with tension between the shell and the EPS. The cheek pads and the neck roll are all one piece. There are three snaps for each cheek pad. You're going to want to get your fingers between the cheek pad and the shell and gently release the snaps. Nice positive engagement. I would say the build quality of this helmet is very high. This is actually produced in Italy, just as the Pista GP. Go ahead and lightly pull on the neck roll. It's going to release it from between the EPS and the exterior shell. Pull the strap through. You'll see here there's a pocket in the cheek pad slash neck roll assembly that's able to accept these foam pieces to help you further dial in the fit of this helmet. Top pad, easy to remove. Go ahead and give a light tug here. Remember that's really held in place by the neck roll and then there are going to be two snaps up front in the brow area. Release those just as we did with the cheek pad. And get your finger between and then pull this out. Let's have a good look at this top pad. It has a pocket here on the back which will accept this piece of foam to tune the fit. You're also able to move this around, right? As you can see, that is sliding around this leg here on the top pad, which is going to adjust the fit of the helmet. To further adjust fit and enhance airflow, it has these pucks. You'll note that each one of these has holes drilled in it, right? To allow the air that would flow inside the helmet through it. You can remove these, and then all you're going to have in place there is going to be just the fabric which is going to flow more air. Good quality from this. You'll see that the ventilation holes here through the foam, they're going to line up with the holes in the EPS to really enhance the airflow. Give you a close-up look at the inside of the helmet, at the EPS, all the channeling that is intended for airflow. All in all, what do I think of this helmet? Without a doubt, this belongs in that true high-end category with the Arai, the Shoei, the Bell Star. This is an amazing piece of technology. I would dare say this is, without a question, the best helmet AGV has ever built. This is the all-new AGV Corsa full-face helmet.